Welcome to Nico Props. I'm Chris Fry, and in this episode, we're going to be doing some alginate casting. Um, so alginate is a algae-based um, molding medium that uh, basically is used often for special effects, but also for dentistry. Uh, you may have seen it in dentistry; they use it for taking impressions of teeth and things like that. Well, the cool thing with this is it's reasonably cheap. It's accessible. Um, it is a slightly old school way in the special effects industry of uh, doing kind of life casting and things like that. Um, a lot of the time these days they actually use a skin safe silicon, but for our uses, this is going to be absolutely fine. Now this will make a one use mold. Um, alginate doesn't last very long. It lasts about 24 hours once it's been cast, but it's still good for, uh, for making sort of plaster castings. Now I'm going to use uh, this jug which I've already measured out the correct amount of water for this packet which is a hundred uh, sorry 1350 milliliters um, you just got to mix it up with a mixing stick this is just a, uh, a test stick that I had from the workshop bit of scrap um, you can use paint stirrers things like that uh, and we're just going to mix it in and it should basically start off pink and then change color. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna take the, uh, the alginate. So this stuff is by MB Fiberglass. I'll put links in the description for it below. Uh, you can actually buy special kits for this as well, um, hand casting kits and things. Now there are several methods to actually using this alginate and casting it. And uh, one of the main methods is uh, effectively a dump mold. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna fill this up. I'm gonna stick my hand in it until it's set. And then, uh, and then we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna put some in, give it a good mixing. And just keep adding it in. Now this stuff does have a tendency to go lumpy. Um, you may want to kind of dip more than stir and squish any kind of pieces against the side of the mold. Mold the jug. So I'm just going to kind of, do you know what, I'm just going to dump the whole thing in. And you can see it's gone pink. This is great stuff. So this is a chromatic um, alginate by polycraft and what that means is it changes color which is great because it tells us when it's gone off so this is gonna turn into quite a, an interesting goop we only have a two minute working time with this as well so I'm having to work quite quickly and give it a good mixing try and crush as much of this stuff up against the side wall as possible That's probably enough mixing. Give the spatula a bit of a wipe off before I put it down. Now I've got these leather bangles. I'm just gonna push them up my arm out the way. And uh, what I need to do is I need to submerge my hand so that it doesn't quite touch the bottom. And I'm hoping the displaced fluid will actually come up to my wrist. If it doesn't, I'll have to do another casting. It's no big deal. So, and you have to hold it in place. I'm just gonna move my fingers around to get rid of any air bubbles. Touch the bottom, and I need to curl my fingers just a little bit, which is not ideal, but... Yeah, there we go. So I need, uh, I need to basically hold it here until this stuff goes off. Okay, so it seems to have set, so I need to remove my hand from it. So I need to uh, try and wiggle my fingers a little bit. And there's some serious suction in this as well. 
So I'm gonna try peel off around my wrist a little bit, see if I can get some air inside. But it really has grabbed hold of my hand here. Oh, that's better. You can kind of feel the suction as you're trying to wiggle your fingers and move around. I've got to be quite gentle with this. I've got most of my hand out, but my fingers are still kind of. Oh, that's it. I can feel them unsticking. Oh, it's so nice. It's like, um, you know when you get at school, you get PVA glue in your hands or uh, Elmer's glue or white glue or whatever you want to call it, right? Um, it's like that. It just feels so nice coming off. And I've only been in here a few minutes. Okay. Just kind of, oh, there we go. I've got a little bit on my wrist there, but we can see We've got a hole that is my hand. Now all we've got to do is fill it up with some plaster. Okay, so we need to fill up the, uh, the mold with some plaster. Um, I've worked out how much water and plaster that I needed. Uh, what I did was I took a saucepan, filled it up to the top of water, put my hand into it like this, the water spilled out, which is displacement. Um, I took my hand out and then I measured water until it went up back up to the, the top, which gave me 600 milliliters. Um, I'm actually going to use 450 milliliters of water because of the plaster. So what we're going to do, I'm using a fine casting plaster. You could use plaster of Paris or um, Hexalite or whatever, it, whatever you like. Um, I'm going to put some water in because what I want to do, I just want to create a small, oops, I'm going to put a bit more water in there. It's better to add the plaster to the, uh, to the water than it is the water to the plaster. Um, I want to make up a thin batch because I want it to, uh, to get into the small crevices and stuff. So, so this is an extremely thin batch. I'm just gonna put a small amount in. Like that. And I'm gonna take the mold, I'm gonna just rinse it around a little bit so that uh, we get it into all the air gaps and stuff and we get a nice coating on the inside of the mold before I fill it up with the rest of the plaster. So let's put the rest of the water in and we'll put some more plaster in and we're looking for a kind of creamy consistency. Um, basically, uh, yeah, like, you know, double cream kind of thing. We don't want it too thick, we don't want it too thin. I'm just adding the plaster and mixing, adding some more until I get to the consistency I want to. You've got to work quite fast with this because plaster does kick and it will kick and go off very quickly. And I want this to go in reasonably easy. And again, I'm going to put a bit more in Still got lumps in there, we can see them in there. And I'm just gonna give it a good jiggle in the mold. I just want to make sure it gets into those fingers and get some of those air bubbles out. And we are gonna end up with leftover plaster. That's just you know inevitable. I think that's enough plaster and uh, I'm going to try and get rid of some of this excess into this cup. You could, if you have moulds and stuff, you could uh, decant this into a mould. But I'm not going to, I'm just going to put it into this tub. 
and you can see that uh, I wasn't far off the guess on how much plaster on here. I probably actually could have got away with some a little bit less water. Let's move this out of the way. Right, now what I want to do, I want to vibrate this so that I get any air bubbles and force them to the surface. because we don't want those air bubbles inside the actual part. So that's that. Now then, while it's wet, and I've got my hands covered in stuff now, now while it's wet, what I wanted to do, I want to take a bolt and I want it to stick out of the plaster part so that um, uh, I've got something to attach to. So I'm going to take a piece of cardboard, push the bolt through as far as I need it, so that I've got enough sticking out but enough going into the part. I'm going to put a wing nut onto it because it's easy to undo like that so that it doesn't sink down too far and then I'm going to pop it in the top like that and then I'll leave that for a bit while this plaster goes off. So looking at the, the plaster in the tub I can see that this has gone off enough so I'm going to remove the wing nut from the bolt carefully and the piece of cardboard so that I can let the water vapour escape. Now it's just a case of leaving that uh, for a few hours to, uh, to set up properly. So that's our time to set up now. Now we've just got to get it out. Um, my container is quite rigid so I'm not sure how this is going to work. Fish out with a knife. I mean, these are going to need a good wiping down, but That is incredibly accurate. Even got the saw cut from uh, from where I did a, had a circular saw accident. Now with these fingers, what I'll do is I will. What finger is that? That's that finger. So you can see, basically, because I had them curled around and it was touching, nearly touching that finger. They tell you not to curl your fingers. I think. Uh, Yeah, I think I should have had my fingers a bit wider apart. But uh, look at the detail on that though. Look at the, let's have a look. Let me uh, bring this closer to the camera. So, uh, how's that? That's pretty detailed right there against my actual hand. Oh, can't hold it at the right angle. And there's the bolt. So that is casting with alginate. Um, I got this alginate from MB Fiberglass. They are on uh, Amazon, links in the description below. Now, a few takeaways that I've got from this is that, well, I mean, I did two of these, I did another one. Um, I need to have a deeper mold because th in this one I had my hand open, this one I didn't. Uh, I had it a bit more closed, but with the hand open and in that jug, I, could, I couldn't I could get as much wrist as I would like. It's still quite cool if, you know, you need a, a hand for like, you know, cut off from a briefcase or something like that. That might be kind of cool. Um, but uh, for I just wanted a bit longer arm. That's all. I mean, this is my first forays into, into like alginate casting. I'm probably going to do some, some more at some point, but... Uh, I think things like the fingers, maybe that could have been do, done with some reinforcement. I could have used different plaster. This plaster, although it's picked up all of the detail, which is beautiful, by the way, it doesn't feel like it's much different to um, plaster of Paris. I've got to be honest, it's just as soft. 
Um, I've got it in these cups at the moment to, uh, to dry out a bit more so that air can get around it. Um, the container that I used for my hand being in, in the second uh, casting, it proved to be much more difficult to remove um, because I used one and a half bags of this alginate instead of the one that I used on this so that I could have it deeper. But it didn't work out as planned. Uh, I've only got a little bit more wrist. I mean, when you compare these two together, I take this out because I have my fingers cold over on this one. If I actually line up the thumbs joints there, you can see I've only got a tiny bit more. So there's not much in it. There is not much in it. So I need a deeper container. I'm probably going to have to use two bags of this. Uh, it, it could be a bit narrower actually, to be fair. Um, as long as I've got enough to splay my hand out, that'll be fine. Uh, and it, ideally it needs to be a container that flexes. So I'm thinking like a large mixing cup of some description. Uh, I know that they do kits for this stuff on, on Amazon. And I'll, if I find any, I'll go and have a hunt for them. I'll put the links in the description below. So, fingers, what am I gonna do about them? Um, I'm not gonna do it now because uh, I wanna wait for the moisture to kind of ease its way out. And the reason that I want to wait for that to come out is because Plaster is very porous. Now ordinarily when you're gluing together you probably would want it a bit damp, but I don't because of the glue that I'm using. I'm going to use this five minute epoxy, um, which you can check out the, the details of in my uh, adhesives video. Um, and I'm going to do that once this has dried out a bit more. I'm just going to put a little blob on and stick it back on because I don't want a big seam or anything like that. I want it to be quite close and I want this glue to soak into the plaster so that it soaks into both sides. It creates a really good bond um, because at some stage what I want to do is I actually want to make a silicon mould of my hand which I'm going to be of this plaster cast so that uh, I can play around with I don't know maybe some um, ballistics gel or you know whatever I want to play around with or I might want a fake hand for something. Um, and we can do that in another couple of videos. So thank you guys for, uh, for watching and uh, like the video if you liked the video. Uh, if you didn't, that's fine. I'm absolutely cool with that. But uh, make a comment in the comments below uh, to just tell me why so that I can change and improve the content for you guys. Okay, so I've got probably going to have some videos here somewhere for you and there'll be a subscribe button around here somewhere. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next episode.